Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we will set up in-app purchases with RevenueCat in Flutterflow. RevenueCat is an in-app purchase server with cross-platform support. You can integrate your Flutterflow app with RevenueCat to charge your users for some features or content. There are a couple of prerequisites to this tutorial. First, we assume that you already uploaded your app to Google Play Store and Apple App Store, or just one of them if your app runs only on Android or only on iOS. Keep in mind that in-app purchases will not work in the web run mode. Then you need to configure your products in Google Play Store and Apple App Store. And then you need to configure packages, offerings and entitlements in RevenueCat. In this video, I will not walk you through the store setup because there are already pretty good videos about how to do that. And instead, we will focus on Flutterflow setup. But for the prerequisites, I recommend first watching this video by Johannes Milke. I apologize if I'm saying his name wrong. Uh, where he configures products in Google Play Store and in RevenueCat. The most relevant section of this video for you is between 4 minutes 50 seconds and 21 minutes, where he configures products in the store in RevenueCat. Uh, and you can skip parts where he writes Flutter code because uh, Flutterflow will do this for you. Uh, but there is one caveat. While setting up products in Play Store, you can encounter an error like this. What you need to do is the following. You go to Flutterflow. You go to Settings, Integrations, RevenueCat. You enable RevenueCat integration. Uh, for now, you can put any string as uh, for the store keys, like any gibberish will do. And once you've done that, you Click this button to generate an APK file. Once the APK file is generated, uh, you will use it to upload it to Play Store when you see this message. This should un unblock you creating uh, products and subscriptions in Play Store. Uh, the video by Johannes does not cover uh, App Store purchases. For that, I recommend this video on Code with Chris channel, uh, where uh, iOS products are set up. You will find links uh, to the videos I mentioned in the description. Also in the description you will find a link to a detailed written guide by Flutterflow. Once you're done with prerequisites, it's time to set up Flutterflow. Open your project in Flutterflow and go to Settings, Integrations, RevenueCat. Enable RevenueCat and paste App Store and Play Store keys here. You can find these keys in Revenue Cat under API keys. Like here is the App Store key and here is the Play Store key. Also, consider enabling debug logging. Uh, it will be greatly helpful in troubleshooting any issues that can occur down the road. But you should uh, disable it when you, your app goes live. For the sake of this tutorial, my Revenue Cat setup is very simple. I have two products. I have one monthly subscription and one annual subscription. I have one entitlement called premium associated with both of these products. And I have one offering called default with like these two products in it. Now let's go to the UI builder. Say I have a premium feature or content that I want to make paid. This is how I do it. I have a button, I call it premium action. Uh, I attach an action to this button. The action will be a revenue cat, paywall action. It requires an entitlement ID. I have only one entitlement, it's called premium. Uh, action is, if entitled, is executed if the user has the necessary entitlement. Uh, here you would typically take the user uh, to another page where you will display that premium content. Uh, in our case, I just show a message like, welcome subscriber. And action if not entitled is executed if the user does not have the required uh, subscription. And in this case, I show a bottom sheet component called paywall. Paywall is another component that I created ahead of time. Let's look at that. Here's my paywall. Uh, here I show both of my products, like my annual subscription and my monthly subscription. 
uh, prices and descriptions are pulled from revenue cat. Let's see at how that works. Uh, so, for example, the price is set from variable. It is revenue cat, current offering, annual package, price string. Uh, very similarly, the description is set from another variable, revenue cat, current offering, annual package, description. And uh, of course, let's look at the button that actually makes the purchase. I have several actions attached to this button. The first uh, action is revenue cat purchase action. This action requires the package ID to purchase. It is set from variable, revenue cat, current offering, annual package, package identifier. This will open the store dialog where the user will uh, perform the purchase and um, we will have an output variable. It will be true if the purchase uh, successfully went through and false if, if it failed for, for any reason. We will use this variable to distinguish uh, successful purchases from unsuccessful in subsequent actions. So the next action is if the purchase succeeded, we just close the paywall, right? It is navigate, navigate back. Uh, notice the condition. The condition is if this did purchase variable is true. Then in the next action, you would typically take the user to your premium content or uh, feature. In our case, I just display message, annual subscription purchased. All right. Uh, it is also conditioned on the same to purchase variable. And then finally, I have an action in case the purchase failed. Uh, you would often not even handle this event anyhow, but here I do just to demonstrate how it can be done. I also just show a message, just purchase failed message, but notice the condition. It is conditioned on the same output variable, did purchase. However, I here apply the opposite statement. So the action is executed only when the variable is false. All right. Uh, if I download my code and run it in emulator, it will look like this. Here's my premium action. Let's click it and it shows me the paywall. In this paywall, let's buy the monthly subscription. Let's call by now. It shows me the store dialog where I confirm the subscription. Sorry, where I confirm the subscription. It is successful. Uh, it closed the paywall and displayed the success message. Yay. Now, if I try to perform this action again, it will recognize me as a subscriber. One last thing that I want to add. If for any reason uh, you want, in addition to or instead of paywalls, you want your page to look different for subscribers and non-subscribers, uh, there is another variable that can help you with that. Uh, let me just show where it is. It lives under revenue cat, active entitlement IDs. It will give you a list of all active entitlements and you can make your page uh, look different depending on the subscription status of the customer. All right, this is it for the tutorial. Good luck using Revenue Cat in your projects. Reach out to us for support or with any feedback. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.